I wanted to show you guys what I got last night. Went to go run up to Dollar General. And this package from Amazon was sitting on my front porch. Up there at the house. And this is a beautiful rug that I refuse to use it as a rug because it's very precious to me. So I'm going to find the perfect picture frame and I'm going to frame it. It's a pretty big rug, I don't know if you can tell. And I don't have any tacks or anything in it, it just stuck up there because there's no, no stick stuff on the back of here so it just kind of stuck up on my wood sign. And then I want to show you what else, what else was in that Amazon box. This beautiful, wonderful pillowcase. I put one of my thrift store peacock pillows in there and it fit perfectly. Isn't that sweet? I'm trying not to use it to lean up against or anything because I don't want to put a lot of wear and tear on it because it's special to me. So I got that from one of my subscribers, Eric. I'm just relaxing right now. Just relaxing. I've got a lot on my mind today. I'm trying to figure out some things. I'll just go ahead and talk about some of the things I've been thinking about. So I'm thinking about, you know, I never thought anybody would send me stuff. Never crossed my mind. Obviously, when you watch other people's channels, when they show you stuff that their subscribers have given them and everything, you get a real sense of joy and you're just, you're happy for them. And also, it's fun to see the stuff they get. It's just fun. And so, anyways, never thought about it. And so far I've got five things. And not only are they things, but they're things I needed. And things that tell me that people watch my videos and actually just express love with the gifts that they're giving me. So, I've been thinking about it, you know. Like, well if my channel ever grows, you know, how am I going to, if people send me stuff, how am I going to handle that? One thing that bothers me is when the channel gets really big and they still keep their P.O. box up or whatever and then they never share any of the stuff that they get. I have a couple of friends on here and they always make sure to thank someone if they send them like a PayPal or something. Like my friend Dennis from Boondocking with Dennis, he's always so gracious and thanks people, you know, and stuff like that. But I've just been thinking about that lately. I'm like, how could I handle it? Because people can be so mean, you know? And when they watch your videos, they're like, oh, you're getting all this stuff. Well, is it anybody's fault that people care for them and want to send them stuff? I mean, it's a really special thing. It's I've always been a gift giver my whole life. Usually, if you come to my house, you're not going to leave without something. If you tell me you like something that I have, you're going to go home with it. So... I understand that side of life and I understand that kind of a person. So I don't think of it as me thinking that I'm simply putting out videos and I'm worth anything, you know, that I'm working so hard. Anybody who really does their videos, they know that it, it is kind of stressful and it does take a long time to upload videos and it does take brain pressure to get videos edited. It's not terrible hard physical work. No, it's not. It's just mental. It's mental work. I mean, some people do really hard physical work for their videos, but not me. You know, because if I do project building stuff and everything, I'll just be working for myself. So it's not like I'm working for YouTube. You know, it's just me recording stuff that I'm already doing. My point is, is I don't think I'm ever worth putting my PayPal up or having people send me money or any of that stuff. Do I want to get monetized? Absolutely. I lost my disability that I had for 12 years. I lost that last May. So it's like for the first time I've not had an income in all those years. 
and it hurt me for about a year, but I could have kept my disability by telling one lie. One lie. And I refused to lie, and it cost me my disability. But obviously, I believe the Lord's going to bless me more by simply telling the truth than if I just would have lied and kept my almost 800 bucks a month, you know? But that's another story for another time. My point is, I want to make videos to express myself, to make friends, to create stuff, and to share my life. Being a hermit, this is the best way for me to interact with other human beings in a healthy way, in a good way, at my own safe level you know, at my own comfort level. But if people want to send me things, that is just absolutely awesome. So I'll just, just saying that I've been thinking about it lately, what it means to be sent things when you're on YouTube, you know, what, how I'm going to handle, should I make a video showing my stuff? Because I can't help it. I want to. I want to share the special, wonderful things that people take their money or their time and their things that they own and share with me. How could I not share that? That is so wonderful. So wonderful. All my stuff that... You know, my stuff that... My awesome delicious coffee that Dennis sent me my wonderful beautiful wonderful surprise box of special things from Alan my expensive halo light from Gracie that's gonna change everything for me because it's already dark in my camper when winter sets in it's gonna be even darker so now I can actually make videos and stuff at night and then Eric sending me these wonderful things <clears throat> anyways that was a lot of talk about that but I've got a lot on my mind today because I'm just thinking of ways that I can live even cheaper and I don't have my batteries yet for my solar I have 700 watts on the side of the camper trailer and then I have another 100 watt panel that I have stored in the shed so I have 800 watts of solar I just don't have the batteries to hook it up yet I've never used solar I have no idea how to make it work except I watched Ross unhook his batteries so I know what I need to do just hook the you know I know what I need to hook to the battery so I'm trying to figure out you know I like my little house here in Astoria. It's very expensive. I don't have a lease on the house or anything, so... You know, I can leave whenever I want. But where would I go? You know, what... Just trying to think of things, you know. The house is 500 bucks a month. So I'm just trying to figure out, I'm still looking for off-grid land, but all the websites that I was following before, they're suddenly putting up terms, you know? You can get this property, but you're going to have terms, in other words. You can get it real cheap, you know, 500 bucks down, 121 bucks down, you know, say 300 a month for 15 years. Okay, fine, that's better than paying rent for 15 years. I can do that. I'm a poor person. I can do that for, you know, 9% interest. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. However, if there's terms, that means that they say, well, you have to put your tiny home or your camper on a 600 square foot foundation that's concrete. I'm never going to be able to afford 600 square feet of concrete. And I want to be on off-grid land where no one can tell me what I can and can't build on my land. Or tell me that I have to have a septic in there when, you know, it's pretty easy to, you know, go to the bathroom the way we did before, you know, plumbing and all that stuff came into into play, because that does not bother me one bit. I can live pretty wild. So, you know, obviously I would get a generator, store up some gas. You know, I'm thinking about a lot of stuff lately. I'm like, okay, well, if I have solar, there's going to be days where I can't get any sun. 
So what do I do? I get a generator. Well, what if there's a gas shortage and then you can't run your generator and then you don't have a generator or your solar? Well, I can live without electricity as long as I have a wood stove and an ability to heat my food up and candles. So that's okay there too. And then I'm like, okay, well then how would I charge my cell phone? Okay, the Amish people charge their cell phone using a regular 12 volt battery. Okay, I can do that too. So there's ways around stuff that I just need to have backups and I need to have all this stuff put in to place so that I can live off grid when I when I'm ready to. So I'm I mean I'm not you know it's not a rush of thoughts or anything I'm just slowly hour by hour thinking about all this stuff <clears throat> I know it's coming out real fast right now but I didn't have any idea I was gonna make this video I'm just sitting here just had my coffee so <laughs> these are coffee thoughts. But I, I don't know, I really want to do the off-grid. That's what my goal's been all along, but I, I had no idea I would e even be able to get such a blessing with the solar. I had no idea I would get that blessing. So, I'm already two steps ahead. I've got my camper home, and I've got my solar set up. So I'm, I'm good on those two things. So, I don't know, I'll figure it out. My parents have a little bit of land and a big old farmhouse just sitting there about eight miles from me, right in the country. Just on a country blacktop road, just sitting there, you know. I keep thinking maybe I should call mom and talk to her and dad about moving my camper out there. But my family, the way my family is, I'd still have to pay rent to stay there too, I mean... You should never take anything for free, but there are certain times in life where you could do that for someone, but that's just not how my family rolls. <laughs> We're uh you take something, you give something completely equal, equal type of family. So I know they would never charge me $500 just to park my camper there and live there off grid, that's for sure. Because I'd still haul my own water because dad, there's a well there, but dad already closed down the pipes and everything and shut it all off. And I know they don't have electricity hooked up right there right now either. So I really would be living off grid. I mean, I'd have to haul my own water, all that good stuff. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. That's the thing about my channel is I've already had, I started out this channel living in Missouri, Paris, Missouri, on my boss's land in a cute, adorable camper van that I still think about. I have no idea what's wrong with the engine, I just knew it wouldn't start. I got it from a scrapyard, my boss's scrapyard, which was about a mile from where I ended up parking it. He never took the time, he's a workaholic, he never took the time to look at the engine and see what was wrong with it. All he did was, the, the city said, basically somebody abandoned it and they said get it out of here. So he had it at his scrapyard for, I don't know, I think he said six or seven months. My point is, is I still think about that camper van and I... I don't know. I've got a lot of stuff in my mind right now. I'm trying to figure out where I need to be when stuff starts getting really real. And it is getting really real out there in the world. So my sons are about three hours away from me. They're doing great. They're doing wonderful. And they're right close to grandma and their aunt Charlotte and their uncle Rodney. And they're doing great. So that's, that's a comfort to me. My 16 year old just got a job at McDonald's. My 20 year old has a really good job right now. So I need to worry about what, where I'm going to go and man, I'd go to Missouri, back to Missouri in a heartbeat, but it is so expensive there. So expensive there. The land is really expensive unless you go all the way down by the Ozarks. The land is just ridiculously expensive. So I'm not sure really what I'm trying to say here. I guess I'm just saying what I think. What I'm really trying to say is I really don't want to be in a town. But at the same time, you know, it's working. So I don't know. Maybe I better just build this, spend this winter, you know, getting my wood stove in here, 
I gotta get a wood stove. I don't have too much time left to get one, but I gotta get a small wood stove. Then I've gotta get batteries so I can learn to live off grid before I ever actually go off grid. That would be smart. So I think really having this home base with electric and water and everything would be a good time to start figuring that out. All right, well, I hope this hope this made some sort of sense to you. I'm just thinking about stuff. Hope whoever hears this video and sees this video is having a wonderful, peaceful day. Hope everything's going great for you. If it's not, just hang on. I've been in the middle of absolute evil. I'm telling you, the only thing you can do is hang on. Hang on. All right, see you later.